guys, welcome to Vividly Violin and welcome back to the Nervousness video series. Big question, what does nervousness feel like to you? Last, in the last video we talked about before you find solutions for your nervousness, you should first know what's going on. So as we're starting that journey, let's figure out what does nervousness feel like to you? Is it shaking? Do you rush in your music? Um, do you get butterflies in your stomach? Uh, do you have repetitive, fearful thoughts? Like, I'm gonna mess up, I'm gonna mess up, I'm gonna mess up. Nervousness is normal and natural, but some triggers actually make it worse. Most of these triggers are controllable. Today's video is about minimizing nervousness by controllable triggers. Here are some controllable triggers. These ones are the ones that I could think of, but if you have any that you think of, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. Um, so, adrenaline rush, uh, low blood sugar, sleep deprivation, um, mental fatigue, physical fatigue, as well as uh, preparation or the lack of it. So. so, first controllable trigger is low blood sugar. So, symptoms of this could be like shaking, um, brain fog, lightheadedness, exaggerated emotion, uh, exaggerated emotions. Um, this basically is like everything is like ten times worse or better than it actually is. Um, you might also feel weak. Um, don't these sound like nervousness? So can you imagine being nervous and having low blood sugar? That would be like a volcano erupting. Like, that would be so bad. You would feel like it would just be the worst thing in the world. So often though, I feel like I will go somewhere, I'll have a recital, I'll start talking to the other kids that are playing the recital, and you know, they have they didn't eat lunch, or they didn't even eat breakfast. That seems like, if it's a night recital and you didn't eat breakfast, that seems like such a long way away. But actually, that has a lot of impact on how you're feeling for the whole day, including preparation, mental preparation before the recital, as well as your feeling at the recital before you're gonna go play. So you really have to take everything in. Did you eat lunch? Have you eaten in three hours? A lot of kids don't eat before they go to a recital, and maybe that's why even how they go to a recital. Here's how I make sure that low blood sugar does not affect my performance and does not sabotage my performance as well as affecting how nervous I get. First thing is make sure that you eat all your meals on the day of the performance. Um, like I said before, it seems like this probably wouldn't affect your performance, especially like you miss breakfast. Uh, that has a huge impact on your blood sugar and everything like that, just your whole state of being um, on that day. And it's really not smart to miss one of your meals. Um, also make sure that you have a very balanced meal, uh, balanced meals that day. Uh, make sure you have enough protein and uh, not too much sugar. You don't want too high of carbs because even if you eat uh, dinner two an hour before you go to your performance, if you have a very high carb meal, your especially simple carbs, your carbs are gonna go up. You get all this blood sugar intake and then it goes your blood sugar just goes down and because all those simple carbs have gotten digested so fast. So you just have to really be careful, make sure that you're balanced, you don't have too much sugar, don't eat too many carbs, and make sure you get all your meals. So here are some things that I will do um, for pre-concert prep. So I sometimes will have a smoothie. Um, it's a, this is a ketogenic um, collagen protein powder, so it has protein, collagen, it also has MCT oil, so it has a good amount of fat, um, so that if there's any sugar that I had before the concert to kind of help um, get me and give me energy. Um, the MCT oil will make sure that I don't get have a huge spike right after that. Sorry, my cat is playing with things and it's must hit the screen. Um, so this is that. I really recommend getting some. It's might not touch, taste the best, but it definitely works. So um, yeah. Next thing is Tromex. It seems like such a small thing, but if you're not allergic to nuts, which I'm very sorry if you are because you're missing out, uh, <laughs> Tromex is very good because it has uh, nuts as well as M&Ms who do get a small amount of sugar as well as the uh, raisins. Um, so this is also a really good uh, idea if you have uh, want to get a good snack. So I know it might seem like I'm going against what I just said two minutes ago, um, but I said that I, you should stay away from sugar. You should stay away from sugar, but I will say that having a good amount of, or not a good amount, but having a small amount of sugar right before you go on stage uh, is a good idea because as I was talking to my swim coach actually, and he said um, right before triathlon races, they will actually have, they will 
take some glucose ca tablets or something like that to get the sugar up so they have energy. Um, but they have to take it right before the thing or they get a spike during their race. And so same thing with performances, your brain needs glucose to run and eat sugar. And if you, especially if you need that energy, if it's a night performance, definitely I would pack a little treat for yourself and eat it right before you go on stage. Just make sure you wash your hands. So I talked about snacks. The things that you're going to want to probably stay away from in snacks is uh, make sure that you don't have something that's really sticky, uh, that's going to get on your fingers or leave a residue, as well as stay away from greasy snacks or wash your hands right afterwards as well as make sure that you don't have um, something that's going to get stuck in your teeth and then it's going to annoy you during performance. I did do that once. I had like a cliff bar before I went out to perform and then during performance it was bothering me so bad. It like got stuck in all of my teeth and I just was like as I was performing and it totally messed up my performance. So don't ever do that. Please listen to me and don't do that. Um, so. Make sure you stay away from sticky foods, greasy foods, things that are going to get stuck in your teeth, and anything else that you can think of. So next up on our controllable triggers list is adrenaline rush. This is a huge one for everybody. 